two, round one. The fight I have coming up is a kickboxing fight. It's not really an MMA fight, but I do train MMA. And what I really do is I specialize in kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I see maybe someone is a really good wrestler, I would, I would stay stand-up. I would kickbox them. If, if, I, if I see maybe a really good kickboxer, I would use more of my, my wrestling, my, my grappling. I would, I, would, I would play to my strength to play their weaknesses. It's mixed martial arts. It's, it's like a game of physical chess. You know, and it's not just striking, there's, there's, taking, there's wrestling, there's grappling, you know, there's a lot to it. And on the surface, people don't, a lot of people don't really understand it. They just think of it as very barbaric, and it can be at times, um, as can boxing, as can football, as can certain sports. You know, it's a great sport, and, um, you know, I, I don't know what's different about New York than for, the 49 other states. I mean, I'm born and raised in New York my whole life. I love New York, but it should definitely be legal in New York. I actually, when I was a kid, I was getting bullied. And then we used to be by uh, in Little Blaine on uh, next to Starbucks. And I, I was walking down, and I see these kids doing like, these fancy kicks. So, I'm, so I go to my mom, I'm like, Ma, I'm going to go in and try it. So me and my older brother, we go in there, and we start training, and I've been here ever since. A lot, a lot of our students come in, and you know, like, they come in, they're saying that they get bullied. And then throughout months and months of training, or even sometimes weeks, they come back and tell stories of how they are at school. They go, you know, senpai, sensei, I, went, I, had, I was here at school yesterday and the bully tried to try attack me again. I used, I used what you guys told me to defend myself and it doesn't happen anymore. And we're very proud of the other students.